We are back with another review, and today we're checking out some pops that I picked up for a penny. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Today we're checking out some pops that I literally picked up for a penny uh, at GameStop, and these are some Star Wars pops that they were phasing out, and they just didn't want them on the shelf at all. Uh, the real estate was needed for other things, so they ended up dropping them off to me for literally next to nothing. I probably wouldn't pay more than a penny for these. Um, today we're checking out Cura over here, or Cura, or I don't know. You let me know down in the comments below how to pronounce that. We got Rose, and we got the GameStop exclusive DJ. Now I got about, these are the three variations that I did pick up, but I picked up about three or four of each of these. Obviously, you know, penny piece for everything. So they couldn't actually give them away for free, so they had to charge me a penny. So let's start, let's start off with uh, Kura or Kira. Let's check her out. She originally was a $9 pop. This one dropped in 2018. Let's see what number this is. Oh, look at that, it opened up right for me. She's number 26,977. So it looks like they were dropping these red series and yellow series Star Wars pops for left, next to nothing. So here she is. She's got like a little fur coat on. Is she attached to the base? She is glued to her base. She is a bobbler. Paint app on this one is pretty sharp. They did really good detail over here with her ring and everything. Uh, you got the different color blacks. I think that's really neat. They did a good job on this one. Even though it was so cheap, they did a good job on the paint app. Let's check out this Rose character. She's a 2017 pop, look at that. Now I don't know which movies these are from because I'm not a fan of the newer Star Wars movies, but maybe you can let me know down in the comments below which ones these are from. Looks like there's another, there's a little ad in here. We got an ad for what, Smuggler's Bounty? So here we go, the Smuggler's Bounty box. Ooh, those are sick. This is old school though. This is definitely done with. So we have Rose here. I don't know who she is. The Star Wars universe. She looks like maybe just a regular rebel or something. I'm not too sure. Bobbly, bobble, bobble, bobble. Paint app on this one is pretty good. She's hopping right off of her stand. So this one, I imagine, what is this? The last wave that they did not mount them to their stands. So that's pretty cool. I mean, shoot, she might even be just worth it just to just to sell the the stands uh, off these pops. So here you go. You got a little bit of um, discoloration there from the glue application but other than that the paint app on here i mean level of detail is pretty good on this one low level of detail but pretty good where it counts like the little neck scarf this little array right here of silver stuff the belt buckle wobble 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 so these these pops that have a little bit of an older uh date to them these 2017s i guess they do remove from their stands we're going to see with this one see if he removes from his stand but the paint apps aren't too bad on these pops even though they're Probably the pops I've seen on the shelf forever. Here we go. Wow, number 14,761. 14,000. Holy crap. That's huge perspective to think that 14,000 in 2017 to where we're at right now. I mean, these smugglers bounty ads might be worth more than the pops, to be honest with you. Um, these uh, 14,000, they've done almost 30,000 pops they've made since 2017. Okay, so he, he comes off his base as well. So we solved that. We solved that problem. So he's got a large and a small, and she has a large and a small, I imagine. So let's see here. But they're not, I don't believe they're interchangeable. Let's see if they are. They are not interchangeable. This one is literally meant for him. And that one is meant for her, which, there we go. He sits on his little base, and so, so will she. Let's see if they stand off their bases, actually. He stands off his base, and so does she, I think. Yep, she does. So let's check out DJ here. His hair color is the same color as his hat. That's a little weird. You got this metal plate here with this little doodab -doo right here, this little anime doodab. Looks like he's got some scars and bags under his eyes. Again, not too familiar with the character, so you know what I mean? The level of detail on here is pretty good as well. We got some metallic rings here. Trench coat looks pretty sharp. Be cool to do a head swap on this one and um, do some customs with this particular pop. That's pretty cool because he has such a plain type suit on and and get up. It would be uh, very easy to do a nice head swap on that and uh, do some custom work. But this is DJ right here. I, I do dig the little anime thing he's got going on with the hair here. I think that's a little neat how they made it all mesh together and stylized it. So it looks like we have to go. We have to go the way that we know. We have to go the uh, the way 
that it spins on, which is going to be clockwise. If you ever have a, a bobbler where the head gets misaligned, you just got to turn it clockwise and do it, spin it as many times around until you get it in the position that you want it to. So, um, but this one has a little bit of a paint app error up there in regards to the hair. You can see a lot of brown uh, that they might have removed from with some solvent or something. So let's see if we can. We'll do it just a little more. There we go. So now he's he's head up. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's get him on. This one says the larger one. Let's see if we got how easy he goes on there. Not very. Yeah, not very easy. He doesn't line up very easy. You have to actually like look at it and push him down. Bizarre. So there you go. We got three Star Wars pops that I definitely am not collecting. Uh, more like trade fodder and sell fodder for for that. But other than that, uh, I did want to check them out here on the channel and, you know, obviously do some pops that maybe not necessarily go into my collection, but see what other things are out there that are not uh, something that I'm a fan of. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this particular set of Star Wars pops. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.